I'm Chris with Tactical Aviation. Let's break down how to read a TAF. A Terminal Aerodrome Forecast, or TAF, is a weather forecast. It is a concise statement of the expected weather conditions at an airport during a specified time. It is issued four times a day, 0 Zulu, 0 06 Zulu, 12 Zulu, and 18 Zulu. The basic format reads out winds, visibility, weather, and sky conditions. There are a lot of number codes and letter combinations that make up a TAF. The TAF starts out with the ICAO Airport Identifier. It will always be four letters. In the 48 contiguous states, a unique airport identifier is preceded by the letter K. For example, Gregg County Airport in Longview, Texas is identified by the letters KGGG. K being the country designation and GGG being the airport identifier. In other regions of the world, including Alaska and Hawaii, the first two letters of the four-letter ICAO identifier indicate the region, country, or state. Alaska identifiers always begin with the letters PA, and Hawaii identifiers always begin with the letters PH. In this example, we see PHNL. So this weather forecast is specific to Honolulu International Airport. PH indicates Hawaii, and NL indicates Honolulu International Airport. Immediately following the airport identifier, there is a date time group. 2517200 Zulu 2518-2624 The first six digits indicate the time at which the TAF was issued. It is the day of the month followed by the hour. So 25 equals the 25th day of the month. And 1720 means it was issued at 1720 Zulu. The next set of numbers indicate the valid time, or when the weather in this TAF is going to be happening. The valid time does not match up with the issued time, because the weather is always forecast in advance. 2518 shows us that the valid time starts on the 25th day of the month at the 18th hour. 2624 shows us that the valid time ends on the 26th day of the month at the 24th hour, or zero Zulu, which is midnight. Now that we know this TAF is for Honolulu, on the 25th at 18 Zulu to midnight, we can find out what the weather conditions will be forecast for. The next block is the forecast winds. The wind direction and speed forecast are coded in a five-digit number group. The first three digits, 080, indicate the direction of the wind in reference to true north. The last two digits, 10, state the wind speed, and KT means the speed is in knots. So the winds are from 80 degrees at 10 knots. Winds greater than 99 knots are given in three digits. Gusting winds can also be shown with a G followed by the wind speed, like G, 26 KT, or winds gusting 26 knots. The forecast visibility is next. It is given in statute miles and may be in whole numbers or fractions. If the forecast is greater than 6 miles, it's coded as P6SM. So in this example, we know that visibility is past 6 statute miles. Weather follows the visibility. It can be broken down into two different categories, qualifiers and weather phenomenon. First, the qualifiers of intensity, proximity, and the descriptor of the weather are given. The intensity may be light, moderate, or heavy. Proximity only depicts weather phenomenon that are in the airport vicinity. The notation VC indicates a specific weather phenomenon that is in the vicinity of 5 to 10 miles from the airport. Descriptors are used to describe certain types of precipitation and obscurations. Weather phenomena may be reported as being precipitation, obscurations, and other phenomena, such as squalls or funnel clouds. VCSH means showers in the vicinity, 5 to 10 miles from the airport. After weather is the sky conditions. It is reported in the sequence of amount, height, and type, or indefinite ceiling. The heights of the cloud bases are reported with a three-digit number in hundreds of feet AGL. Contractions are used to describe the amount of cloud coverage in obscuring phenomenon. The amount of sky coverage is reported in eighths of the sky from horizon to horizon. The only cloud type that a TAF reports is cumulonimbus. If the sky is clear, it is shown as SKC. Broken and overcast cloud layers are considered a ceiling. Drone operators need to stay 500 feet below that altitude. Few 025 equals a few clouds at 2500 feet. That's 1 to 2 eighths cloud coverage. SCT050 equals scattered at 5,000 feet, 3 eighths to 4 eighths of cloud coverage. BKN070 equals broken at 7,000 feet, 5 eighths to 7 eighths cloud coverage. The forecast change group is next. 
For any significant weather change forecast to occur during the Taft time period, the expected conditions and time period are included in this group. This information may be shown as from FM and temporary as tempo. FM is used when a rapid and significant change, usually within an hour, is expected. Tempo is used for temporary fluctuations of weather, expected to last less than one hour. Probable is also used with a given percentage that describes the probability of thunderstorms and precipitation occurring in that coming hour. This forecast is not used for the first six hours of a 24-hour forecast. FM 252000 equals from the 25th day at 20 Zulu, the winds will be from 60 degrees at 15 knots, gusting to 24 knots. Visibility greater than 6 statute miles. Sky conditions, few clouds at 3,000 feet AGL and scattered at 5,000 feet AGL. From conditions supersede the general conditions listed on the first line. Let's read this example TAF together. TAF for Pierre, South Dakota, on the 11th day of the month at 11.30 Zulu. Valid for 24 hours from 12 Zulu on the 11th to 12 Zulu on the 12th. Wind from 150 degrees at 12 knots. Visibility greater than 6 statute miles. Broken clouds at 9,000 feet. Temporarily between 12 Zulu and 14 Zulu. Visibility 5 statute miles in mist from 15 Zulu, winds from 160 degrees at 15 knots, gusting to 25 knots, visibility greater than 6 statute miles, clouds scattered at 4,000 feet, and broken at 25,000 feet. From 0 Zulu, wind from 140 degrees at 12 knots, visibility greater than 6 statute miles, clouds broken at 8,000 feet, Overcast at 15,000 feet. Between 0 Zulu and 04 Zulu, there is a 30% probability of visibility at 3 statute miles, thunderstorm with moderate rain showers, clouds broken at 3,000 feet with cumulonimbus from 04 Zulu, winds from 140 degrees, 8 knots, visibility greater than 6 miles, clouds at 4,000 feet, scattered and overcast at 8,000 feet. Temporarily, between 04 Zulu and 08 Zulu, visibility 3 miles, thunderstorms with moderate rain showers, clouds overcast at 3,000 feet with cumulonimbus clouds. You will see quite a few questions about TAFs on your exam. Let's take a look at a few of the common questions. In the TAF for Memphis, what does SHRA stand for? A. Rain showers. B significant change in precipitation is possible, or C, a shift in wind direction is expected. A. Rain showers. Between 10 Zulu and 12 Zulu, the visibility at Memphis is forecast to be A. Half statute mile, B. Six statute miles, or C. Three statute miles. C. Three statute miles. Thank you, and I'll see you next lesson.